Hello everyone, this is Dan Desktop Support and today I'm going to be uh, making a video, actually it's an upgrade video for a uh, uh, portable virtual box. Uh, I did one few months ago or a year ago and uh, the site is down right now. But there's an upgrade version, it's pretty easy to install now so I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing you need to do is um, go to my site, um, basically I'm, I'm going to put the link in the description if you guys miss what I'm saying. Uh, Okay, this is what you guys gotta do. Dan desktop dot wordpress dot com. Uh, once you come over here, this is gonna be my new site. I'm gonna be putting a lot of stuff, so if you guys wanna check it out, you can check it out. But it's not uh, fully built right now. Uh, then what you have to do is go on the right side to the right side and click on other videos. Okay. And here you'll see the old version is right here. You can see that, but the new one I'm gonna be uploading it right here. And the thing you're gonna do is a click here to download the software. So once it's downloaded, you see on the bottom, uh, you click on it, say run, and then wherever you want to extract it, um, do it over there. I'll just put it on desktop so you guys can see. It. I'll make a new folder, portable, Webox. I'll say OK and then extract it. Just wait for a little bit, it'll pretty quick. Alright, so once it's done, you come down and open this folder right here, and you see portable virtual box. Click on it and then double click on portable virtual box. English, okay. And then what you have to do is click extract the file for a 32 bit system and then compress the file to reduce the size. And if you have 64, you have to click on this one. Don't click on this one right now because you don't know if it's going to work or not. And uh, what you need to do if you don't have, if you can, you can directly install it from the site, the new version. But um, I recommend this to do it from here. Download installation file of a virtual box. So we'll just click on it, and on the bottom you will see it's going directly to the site, and it's downloading 4.0.10. I'm not sure if it's the new version, but it's newer than the one that I made before, so that will work for me. And we'll have to wait uh, once this is done. I'm just gonna stop my camp studio. Where is the So the file is pretty big so it's going to take a little time. <clears throat> so I'm still waiting for the file but let me talk about something, uh, the videos. Uh, you guys can check another videos, uh, actually I'm making like a class uh, instruction. Um, it's uh, basically um, a classroom, and it's going to be like a classroom lectures. Uh, how to become a help desk support specialist, desktop support specialist, desktop support IT, um, desktop administrator. Uh, basically, the the videos are going to be how to basically um, take that route, and it's really for some people it's really hard to go like you know to where from where you get, should start. I already have another videos uh, for uh, you know it's a support specialist video, but this one uh, on my site right here. Uh, let me show you pretty quickly before things get done. Uh, if you go to my site, and if you click here, that's the main page. So the next video I'm going to be talking about a uh, guide to become a health desk support specialist. There's six steps that you need to basically. Um, to become a support specialist, I'm going to be going through each step right here. Step 235 certification, joining communities, uh, more and more and more and more. So, I just wanted to talk about So, okay, it looks like this thing is done. And after this, you just click on OK. And please wait, extract files.
Okay, you will get a message. Or a pop-up message. Again, it's gonna be just pretty quick, like you know, two blink blinks, and then it's gonna start to install the virtual box in that folder. It's gonna tell you please wait, copy files. So you don't do anything, you just have to wait. So after that you're gonna see this message right here, comp compress files, and still you have to wait, you don't have to do anything else. Alright, so once it's done, you're gonna the message is gonna go away itself. The whole window that was right here is just gonna go away by by itself. You you're not doing anything. So to check your portable Vbox is right here, we installed it right here. So what I'm gonna do, I plugged in external hard drive and I'm gonna show it to you guys. And this is right here, my passport is one TV um, hard drive, and I'm gonna double click on it and find the uh, actually in a VDI portable so basically this is the VDI that I'm going to be using to test my portable VBox it's right here now I can copy this and put it right here and play it from USB so that's the main thing we install this you can install this on your USB uh, it's only 80 MB so you can put it anywhere and if you have this both together in one drive you can run that virtual machine from it or you can create another one from this one so let's test it let's go double click on it and I'm gonna say that uh, portable virtual box and come down right here click on portable re box please start virtual box again so that all paths can be adapted just click OK and you can see that it's starting hopefully it will work alright so the new version of has been released 4.0.1.12 I'm just gonna say OK I don't wanna do it right now uh, let's just start uh, from here new and basically this is running from a portable um, um, folder so um, let me remind you I did not install VirtualBox on this computer I installed a portable one I can I can move it anywhere I want to uh, testing next next use existing this is the one that I already made it's in my portable hard drive I'm gonna go ahead and find it and I'm gonna come over here. Actually, hold on. Okay, I had to stop the video for some reason. Uh, so I open my uh, USB um, external hard drive, and then this is right here. My VDI is uh, right here. Portable VBox, and this is the one that I'm gonna be using. It. This is the client VDI. Open next. Finish. And it's right here. Let's start it. Let's see if it's gonna work. Okay. Testing, running, everything is good. Good so far. And it's working. I can tell you that it's gonna work. So basically, you can take this both VDI and this folder into your um, external hard drive and then start playing with it you don't have to install it on your computer you can take this folder anywhere you want to and this makes life easy I guess for testing purposes or any other purposes now you can you guys can see I can run this from here and I can do anything I want to this uh, whole window and you can see this is another window inside my another window so I'm gonna close this down Thank you for watching my videos. Uh, another thing is subscribe so I can uh, get more videos. Uh, just let me know what kind of videos you guys want me to test and uh, definitely go to my site. I'll be putting more, a lot of stuff in there for new uh, IT or students who wants to be in IT and who wants to look for a new job. That video will really help you out to get a new job. Um, so thank you so much. I'm gonna close this right now.